Hi, this is Gary with MacBoast.com. Here's a brief introduction to Clip Tools. So Clip Tools is a utility app that you can get for your Mac in the Apple Mac App Store. You can find it by searching for Clip Tools. It's available worldwide and it's completely free. There are not even any in-app purchases or ads. Once you install it, you'll find it here in the menu bar. It's a menu bar app. So the only place it exists is up here. There won't be any kind of window or introduction screen that opens up. It just appears here at the top. If you don't see it, keep in mind that you have limited space here on the right side of your menu bar. Even if you show some empty space here, the Mac limits how many items can fit here. So if you don't see it, even though Clip Tools is running, you may need to use command drag to remove some items that you don't really need up here. For instance, these items I'm removing are easily available here in Control Center. So I've made a little more room so Clip Tools can fit. Now at its most basic, Clip Tools is a clipboard manager. So if I were to select some text and copy it using Edit Copy or Command C, then I can look at Clip Tools and see the last item that I copied here at the top. But the whole idea is it saves more than just one. So if I were to select some more text and use Command C to copy, I can see now I've got that here at the top, but I also have the previous one. Normally with a clipboard, you could only paste what you copied last. But with Clip Tools or other clipboard managers, you can select something that you previously copied and have it pasted in. So I'll copy a third thing here and I'll see there are three items. And if I want to paste the previous one, not the current one that's in the clipboard, I can simply select it and you can see how it pastes in there. In addition to just being able to paste, you can do a variety of different things using modifiers. For instance, Control and Shift will paste plain. In other words, it will remove any formatting. So if you copy something from a web page and it's in a certain font, maybe color, maybe style, you can use this to paste it as plain text. If you want to remove something from the list, you can use Shift and Option, and that allows you to remove the item. Now you find out about all this stuff by going to the one help page for our Clip Tools, just macbos.com slash Clip Tools, and you'll find everything you need to know here. So for instance, for handling clips, you can read about all the modifier keys that you could use. You could do a variety of different things, including even hiding clips so you don't see them when you choose the menu. You could also group paste. So you can copy, say, three items and then paste all three of them at once. You read about all these different features by going through the guide on this page. You can always access it in Clip Tools itself by going to instructions and feedback. Now, when this list here gets too long, let's copy a bunch of other things here. You could see there, there's not enough room for all of that, but a submenu, more clips, appears. So this keeps everything kind of neat and tidy. You see the top three here, but you also see more under more clips. You can always customize this and lots of things about Clip Tools by going to Settings. In Settings, I can set the total number of clips for it to remember, but also the number that are shown in the main menu before needing to use the More Clips menu. You could also save clips. So let's go to one of these clips like this one here. And if I hold Option, you could see it changes to Save. Once I use that once, I'll have another submenu called Saved Clips. And I could save as many clips as I want. That'll stay there permanently. They won't drop off the bottom as I copy more. But the whole idea of Clip Tools is to add a variety of different tools in addition to a clipboard manager. So for instance, the next items down are Paste Date and Paste Time. So if I use Paste Date, you could see here it pastes today's date. The format, though, is decided in Settings. If you go to Settings here, you can select a date format and also for the next item, Paste Time. And you could specify exactly how that looks. You can go to the Clip Tools webpage to see how to use the various different characters here to represent parts of the date and time and define it like you want. The next item is Paste Lorem Ipsum. This is sample text that is used maybe to fill up a document while you're arranging it and to act as a placeholder for the text you'll eventually put in that box. So you can use a variety of different options here to add sample text like this to your document. Next, we have what is probably the most powerful part of Clip Tools, which are Smart Clips. Smart Clips allow you to have clips that have little commands in them that do various things. So let's add a new one here. And you just type your Smart Clip in here. It could just be plain text like a normal clip, but with certain commands, you can do things. Like for instance, the pick command allows you to choose from several different items, in this case, three. 
and the date command allows you to insert a date in a format, in this case, just the day of the week. And you can even add or subtract a number of seconds from the current time to get that result. And the rest is just regular text here. So I'm going to add this. And now when I select this smart clip here, it will first prompt me for one of those items and I can select one. And then the other part is to include the day, but two days from now. So you can see I'm recording this on a Wednesday and it puts Friday there. To see everything you can do in smart clips, go to the web page. So you have the ability to select one of the previously copied clips. You can ask for something. You can have a random item put into a spot of the text. You can use the current selection. You can replace text from the selection. You can add lorem ipsum text. You can add all sorts of special actions and change case and do calculations and all sorts of things in smart clips. There's a ton of different stuff you can do. And note that you also have smart files. Smart files work just like smart clips, but they allow you to put the clips as little text files in some folder you choose. So you can edit them in a text editor of your choice. By the way, if you find these videos or clip tools useful, you can join the more than 2000 others that support them at Patreon. You get exclusive content, course discounts, and more. You could read about it at macmost.com slash Patreon. Now, another thing clip tools can do is calculations. So you can choose to paste calculation here, and then it prompts you to enter in a calculation like that. And I'll press return and you can see it pastes the answer there. You could also select something like this, select it like that and go choose calculate selection. And it'll replace the selection there with the result. You can look through a list of previous calculations to paste them in. You can also change a setting so that it actually pastes the expression as well as the result. There's even the ability to use stacks, which allow you to copy several different numbers and then do things like paste the sum or the average of all of those numbers. Now with text selected, there's a variety of things that you can do in here. You can get selection statistics like that, but you could also go and change case. So you can make everything uppercase, everything lowercase. You can capitalize every word or every sentence. You can even choose headline case, which will try to make a title out of it. So some words are capitalized, others are lowercase. And in settings, you can determine which ones. You can even do fun things like alternate case, random case, or switch to characters that make it look like the text is upside down. So here I'll choose capitalize all words, and you can see how it does that for the selection. There's also a bunch of selection actions right here. So you can do things like strip HTML tags, you can do URL encode, decode, different things for programmers. You can sort lines. If you've got a bunch of different lines, you can have them sorted alphabetically with this. And a key one here is converting to number words. So if you've got a number like this, you can select it, go to selection actions, choose this, and you can see how it converts it to words. Now let's talk about keyboard shortcuts. You may notice a lot of different keyboard shortcuts here, but they don't work by themselves. For instance, shift command D paste the date. But if I try to use shift command D here, it doesn't work. You have to have the menu chosen first, then you can use shift command D. Now it may seem like that's not very useful, except that in settings, you can set up a global keyboard shortcut and set it to activate the menu. So here I've set up shift command M. So now all I need to do is do shift command M to activate the menu. And I can use the arrow keys to go down and return to select something. But a quick shift command D will actually paste the date because that's the keyboard shortcut here. Another big part of clip tools is the clip manager. So go down to here and this brings up this window and you can look at clips, your saved clips and your smart clips. And this is a really easy way to look through them. You can remove some for saved and smart clips. You can add them, you can reorder them. There are a variety of actions like converting rich text to plain text right here. You can even go in and edit them like that. And you'll still find them here, but with your changes. Clip Manager also allows you for smart clips to set a keyboard shortcut for any smart clip. So since you can do almost anything in smart clips that you can do in the rest of clip tools, like pasting a date in a certain format, you can set up all sorts of keyboard shortcuts to do all sorts of things without having to activate the menu first. But it definitely is useful to use your second 
global keyboard shortcut here to bring up the clip manager. I've got it set to shift command C. So I can use shift command C to bring up the clip manager. I can use the arrows to go through. I can use the FN or globe key and return or an enter key if your keyboard has one to select paste and close and easily find something in the clip manager and paste it in. There's a lot more functionality to the clip manager. So you wanna check out all of the functionality here on the help page about that. So there's clip tools. It's not your typical clipboard manager. It has lots of odd and unusual functions. So it's not for everybody. And keep in mind it's for text only. There are a lot of other clipboard managers out there that will handle images in other types of media. Whereas clip tools focuses specifically on text and things you can do with text. And remember, it's completely free. So it doesn't hurt to give it a try. Hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.